Hi everyone, my name's Nicole and here on Class Notes I share fun tech tutorials that you can use both in your teaching and personal projects. Like and subscribe to support my channel and um, I want to thank every one of my subscribers who have followed my journey so far. I really appreciate you and I hope that you continue to support this channel. If you do want to see some specific content, please let me know in the comments section below as well. Alright, let's get started. Today we're going to be creating an interactive subject map using Google Slides. The idea is to show the interconnectedness of the concepts and subtopics within the subject. So here I've got a subject map for U7 Maths and you can see I've got six um, topics here with a bunch of concepts that are all related to each other. So when students come and they click on a topic, for example, they click on number, they'll be able to access some additional information about the topic and resources. So here I've got what will you learn in this topic, a vocabulary list, jobs and careers, online revision material, fun facts, learning aids, and on other slides I've also got um, videos and um, links to interactive resources. When students go and click on the top right corner here, they'll be able to access the maths map again. So let's go ahead and create this. If you do teach Year 7 Maths, I will have this resource um, in the description box below so you can go and download that for your students and colleagues as well. Okay, so to begin, we'll just need to have a new presentation in Google Slides and we'll go and insert a title. So I'll just grab a shape here and I'm just going to write Year 7 Maths here. Uh, maths Map. And I'm just going to play around with the font a little. I'd like to also change the fuel color and just position it where I want. Okay. I also like to add my Bitmoji. I think it does add a friendly and personal touch. So here I've got the Bitmoji Chrome extension and I'm just going to add some maths related Bitmoji images. Okay the classic um, image for learning maths. Okay, and now we're ready to begin adding the topic. So I do recommend that you have your syllabus or reference material there because there are a lot of concepts within a subject. So let's go and insert a shape. I'm going to get a rectangular shape that has um, rounded corners. So here I'm going to write my first topic, which is number. And again, just play around with the font a little until I'm just happy with that. Okay, and the fill color as well. So this is what it looks like. And just go ahead and add all the different um, big topics within the subject. So the next one would be algebra for me. So here we have the subject map with all the large topics and now we're ready to include all the concepts or subtopics. So just go to um, text box and we'll just add our first um, subtopic or concept. So the first one for me would be function machine. And I'm just going to change the font so it matches. I'm just going to bold that as well and just keep adding all the concepts there. The next one for me would be the sequences and try to stick them where um, the topic is or related topics are. This is what the subject map looks like with all the different subtopics or concepts and now we're ready to draw lines to connect um, related concepts together. So here on the top you can just click on the line button and we're going to select the curved connector and you'll just need to click where you want to begin and just finish up where you want. And I'd like to also create um, a dotted line. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can move that around. You can also go and just copy and paste that to where you'd like to have another line or you can just go and create a new line each time.
This is what the subject map looks like once you've added all your different connections. It does look quite nice visually to be able to see which concepts and um, topics are related to each other. So now we're ready for the next step. In the next step, we're going to be creating um, topic slides. So for example, the first slide that I'm going to be creating is for number. Go to create new slide and we're actually going to copy the title here and just um, change the color and name. So here we're going to be calling this one number. Going to change the font color and I'm actually going to match up the color to what I originally had um, in my subject map. And now we're ready to create the different sections. You can have anything you'd like. What I had originally was um, what you will learn in this topic. What maybe what will you learn in this topic? Just rephrase that a little. Okay, and I also like to have a border color that is kind of matching with um, the topic color. Okay, and I'm just going to keep copying and pasting that. So the next thing I had was vocabulary. You might like to center align that as well. Okay, and essentially any information you'd like. So the next was jobs and careers. Just to answer the question, when will we use this in real life? I always have a section for jobs and careers. And here I had revision material. Say you use something like Khan Academy. Um, you can just hyperlink that so that students can just go and click on Khan Academy and access the website. So just right click to link. And here I'm just going to type in, yep, here it is, khanacademy.com and click apply. So that's hyperlinked and that's going to be very interactive for students. Okay, um, I think the last thing I also had was fun facts. Okay, just to make it a little bit more interesting as an information page. You can also go and add images. So let's go and add image, search the web. And here I'm going to look for uh, a fraction wall. I just type fraction in there, insert. And here it is. Okay. You can also go and add videos. So we'll go to insert, click video, and just um, you can search something on YouTube, something related to fractions maybe, or you can go and just um, drop the URL into here and just insert that into your slides. The last thing is to make sure that it's interactive for students. So what we're going to do is we're going to link up this text box with slide number two, which is our um, slide for number. We're going to right click the shape here, going to go to link, and we're going to click slides in this presentation. And it is slide number two that we want to link here. So click slide number two, press apply. So that link should be working. We also want to be able to go back to our um, subject map. So I'm going to insert a shape here, just a rounded rectangle, and I'm going to write back to mass map. Okay. Change the font so it matches um, my theme. And just change the color a little to make it kind of stand out for students. So might do a custom one here, light color. Okay, it's fine. And change that to white. Maybe add that as well. So right click the shape, link slides in this presentation, slide number one. Okay. Um, yeah, just make sure you click on the shape. Okay, so let's test all this. So we'll go to file. And this is the link that you're going to be sending out to students. So once you're finished with everything, you'll go to file, click publish to the web, and we're going to um, grab a link here. Okay, there was a button to press publish here. And once you hit publish, you can go and test this link. So I'm just going to go and paste that into my browser. Okay, and just test that everything is working. So what did I do? I tried to make this 
um, shape interactive. So if I click on number, I hope to arrive at this slide here, which is correct. And if I click on Khan Academy, I should end up at Khan Academy. And if I click on the top right button here, I should end up with this um, subject map again. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how you can create your own interactive subject map using Google Slides. If you'd like to download this year seven maths map, please see the description box below for a link to that. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.